center. T-Rex experience. Yes. This way, guys. Follow the footprints. This is the coolest. It's like a life size one and it's eating. It's eating another dinosaur. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ew, look at that. Oh my god, it's like gouged open. Look at those teeth marks. This is so real. Oh, the little head. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Kenzo? Is it too realistic amazing. or it's amazing? It's amazing. <laughs> it is the guy. Oh, that's what's happening. Look, he's getting his prey. Oh my goodness. And then he's dragging it over to behind us. You're standing in front of one of the largest predators to ever walk the earth. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh. <laughs> T-Rex ever found. She arrived at the Field Museum in 1997. Thanks to Sue, we know more about T-Rex than ever before. Sue has been used to study how T-Rex moved and behaved, grew up and grew old, experienced disease and injury, and was related to other dinosaurs. They're fighting. Who's gonna win, guys? Oh my gosh. Oh. The last thing Sue's prey ever smelled was probably the stench of rotting meat. The small spaces between T-Rex's teeth are perfect for bits of meat from their carnivorous diets to get trapped and begin decomposing. Smell it. It's because she didn't brush her teeth and she just had meat between her teeth for her whole life. <laughs> Drama queen, is it really that bad? Oh, but you, you sounds like New York City subway. <laughs> Today you can learn how to say stinky in Japanese. Kusa, kusa, You got it. See you next time. See you next time. You got it. See you next time. You got it. On the side. Look at these little feet. And that big one, oh my gosh! Place, Mia. 
30 seconds. Due to pandemic, the cafe is closed, but you can bring your own food and they have some seating inside and outside. The biggest planetarium in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, and we're gonna go see a movie. So cool. Wow. Wow, oh, they're gonna seat us. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Go follow her, guys. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. You can't even like capture it on camera. Oh my god. We lost Kenzo. Were you scared, buddy? What happened? Did you go to another floor and you didn't tell us? Ay, ay, ay. And daddy found you. You're okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, what did we create? <laughs> That's hilarious. Great observation deck out here. Skyscraper exhibit. Empire State Building. Neoji and I have been to this one in Dubai, but we were too cheap to buy tickets to the top. <laughs> it was like 50 bucks. So it was so expensive, but I regret that now. So how was it guys? Amazing. Should people come here? Yes. Liberty Science Center. Woo woo. From Jersey City side. It's just spectacular the view. There's free two hour parking, which we didn't have a trouble finding at like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. right now. It's just gorgeous. And the walk down here. Oh, great. Right after Liberty Science Center. Perfect. Sprinklers, sprinklers, and the ferry coming from Statue of Liberty or Ellis Island. Whoa! <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Don't get too wet. Yeah, I think that's enough, guys. Just a little wet. Just a little wet. Just a little wet. Oopsies. Oopsies. It's like nineties today. It must feel good, huh? Yeah, it's hot. So, so cool. Oh, wow. What? It does look like Harry Potter. <laughs> so this station was built in 1913. So neat, like a little piece of history. It's all abandoned and the 
tracks are gone for most of the part and overgrown is really neat here, isn't it? What kind of spooky. And then as you're walking out of the train station, you can see Ellis Island where they used to process all the people coming to America. Thanks for watching.